Hello and welcome to Tar Heel Teachers Daily. Tar Heel Teachers Daily is a micro series to give you a slice of some of the latest happenings in education right here in North Carolina. I'm your host, Marlo Artis. We hope that all of you had a wonderful weekend and that your Monday is off to a great start. We have a lot to talk about today, so let's go ahead and get started. Three North Carolina schools have been designated National Blue Ribbon Schools for 2020. Piedmont IB Middle School in Charlotte, Cross Creek Early College in Fayetteville, and the public schools of Robinson County Early College in Lumberton were among 367 schools nationwide to receive this prestigious honor. The National Blue Ribbon Schools recognizes schools that are focused on high academic performance and closing achievement gaps. Since the Department of Education launched this program in 1982, 156 schools in North Carolina have been recognized. Congratulations to the 2020 honorees. Mount Airy City Schools has been selected to pilot the Smart School Bus Safety Program in order to combat the coronavirus. The General Assembly has awarded the district $115,000 to implement this three-year program. Software will be installed on the buses in order to allow for contact tracing. Students will have cards so they'll be able to check in and out of the bus each day. It will help the district to maintain bus attendance to see who was on the bus and who wasn't on the bus each day. Mount Airy City Schools hopes to launch this program this spring. If it is successful, it may be implemented across the state of North Carolina. We would like to congratulate Pamela Sands from New Century International Middle School in Cumberland County. She was recently named the 2020-2021 North Carolina School Library Media Association Media Coordinator of the Year. This is the second time that she's been named the North Carolina Media Coordinator of the Year. She previously held the title for the 2014-2015 academic school year. So congratulations once again for this wonderful recognition. She's been a media coordinator for 13 years. She has experience at the elementary and secondary levels. Prior to becoming a media coordinator, she was a high school English and journalism teacher for seven years at Southview High School, and she also taught fifth grade for three years at Lake Rim Elementary. Congratulations, Mrs. Sands. North Carolina is home to the third largest military population in the country, and we currently have over 790 military veterans currently living in our state. Last year, NCDPI launched the Purple Star Award designation in order to recognize the state's strong military presence and our support for our military families. Four charter schools and 126 traditional schools were designated and recognized as Purple Star Schools for the 2019-2020 academic school year. Harnett County Schools was recognized as a Purple Star District because all 29 schools in that system were honored with that award. They were all qualified to receive the Purple Star designation, which is wonderful. If you are interested in applying for the 2020 2021 academic school year the application window opens today so click on the link in the description box of this video congratulations to all of our purple star schools keep up the great work As we wrap up today's episode of Tar Heel Teachers Daily, we do want to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month or Latinx Heritage Month. We want to congratulate Jose Cruz, who is the art teacher at Shepherd Middle School in Durham. His painting, Deeply Felt, was chosen to be featured in the Cam Raleigh's 2020 North Carolina Arts Exhibition. He is a longtime educator and entrepreneur who's very talented, he's very expressive, and he loves to incorporate his culture into his artwork. 
work. So click on the link in the description box of this video to see some more of Mr. Cruz's great work and also to hear directly from him. Congratulations, Mr. Cruz, on this wonderful honor of having your artwork featured. That's fantastic. And thank you for what you do at Shepherd Middle School. We want to thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Tar Heel Teachers Daily. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.